people have learned to use energies to cause harm to someone else. This will be the worst karma, you never misuse this. Some of you think you will do a great thing by healing somebody. If every moment of your life, you have solved the karmic puzzle, ninety percent, remaining ten percent, I am there. Karma means action. There are four types of action – physical, mental, emotional and energy. Of all these things, the energy action is the most important one and the most enduring one and the most liberating one if you do it the right way. If you do it the wrong way, the energy action which is improper can have far more impact upon one's life, then the improper physical actions, improper mental actions, improper emotional actions. So what do I mean by improper energy actions? One thing is, unfortunately, I had to witness a few things which I did not wish to witness. Certain people trying to misuse a little flexibility in energy that came with certain practice of yoga or a certain initiation especially. There are some over smart people that when you initiate them, when it's fresh, when they're bursting with energy, they want to use it for something else. They want to <laughs> channelize it to impress their neighbors or to make some money out of it or in some way use it. What was offered to them for their well-being, they try to do something else that can happen. Or a better example would be, see there are… there are many ways you can perform negative action. One thing is, let's say you sat here and thought that somebody that you don't like must die or you even thought how to kill them. It has a certain level of impact on you. On another level, you had a thought, but not just a thought, the strong emotion, now it has a much deeper impact upon you. You acted upon this thought and emotion and you actually performed the action, then it has a much deeper impact on you. Now, you understand that if you perform these actions, there may be consequences, so you found another way. You found somebody who will do certain type of energy action through which the person that you don't like will die. There is an entire science like this. One Veda among the four Vedas is dedicated to this, this is called the Atharvana Veda where it's about learning to use energies towards your benefit and other people's detriment. You have heard of words like black magic, voodoo and billishunyam and whatever else you call it, where people have learned to use energies to cause harm to someone else. Once you energetically try to influence somebody, for some benefit of your own. Now this will be the worst karma because the impact of this goes very deep into you because you're employing your energies to do this. This is the reason why even to initiate you into a simple process like Shambhavi, I am asking you to take the step of being a mother to the world so that you never misuse this, you see everybody as yours. Because enhancement of energies has to come with a profound sense of responsibility. Enhancement of energies has to happen with deeper dimension of inclusiveness. Without inclusiveness, if you use energy, this will be the worst karma. karma. So, those of you who find some dramatic changes happening in your life, because of initiations, you must take care 
you must take utmost care that you never try to use this ability to transform to do something else. Of course, uh, some of you think you will do a great thing by healing somebody, by intervening in somebody's life in some other way. No, you, this will be the worst type of karma you perform because once you try to use your energies and still you are capable of anger, you are capable of drawing boundaries of what is you and what is not you, what is yours and what is not yours, when these things are still there, you should never ever try to do anything energetically because this will be the most impactful karma that you will do. This is the reason why even the basic practice of Shambhavi to initiate you, you must become a mother to the world. And this is also a fantastic way to beat your karma. If every moment of your life, if you live with an inclusive emotion of being a mother to the world, not discriminating between what… what is yours and what is not yours. Right now you cannot help discriminating what is you and what is not you, but at least what is yours and what is not yours, if you take it away, you have solved the karmic puzzle ninety percent, believe me, ninety percent of all dimensions of karma, you have solved that puzzle. Remaining ten percent, I am there. Ha 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 ha!